Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Fran of Frantastic Pins and on this channel we love to talk about Disney pins and Disney things. And today we are talking about Disney pins, what's new. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite new pin series for the year. It might actually be the only pin series coming out at the Disney parks this year that I'm excited about, which is probably good for my wallet. So without further ado, let's dive into it. All right, friends, here they are. By the time this video is posted on my channel, the fifth one might already be out, but I'm filming in advance, so forgive me. Hopefully I'm able to stay current, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you a close up of the four that I have right now. I can't say enough how like beautiful this series is. I'm gonna shut up and just, let's just get into the pin. So the first one here, okay, first we have to just admire the entire presentation, like the backer card, love that it's blue. Love that there's like a trace, kind of like a sketch of the castle behind just to represent Disneyland. And then, yeah, I love the Disneyland font. All right, so anyways, the first pin that released in the series was the Sleeping Beauty Castle. Dreams come true in Fantasyland is what it says right there. It is a pin on pin design and I love that it the top pin is the border and that it does have some like pop outs of the actual attraction on top. And so it does have like that, that like sunken effect for the poster. So this kind of does remind you of those posters that are like on the walls when you're passing through the tunnels when you enter Disneyland. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the backer card, give it a quick close up scan. I love the Mickeys in the court, the Mickey heads in the corners here. Oh, I love that there's fireworks around the castle. It's beautiful. These pins are silver plated and they're only two pin posts. So two pins, uh, two posts here at the top. We have the pin trading logo here, the FAC here, and then in pretty big fonts compared to other pins. We've got limited edition of 2000. I believe the whole series is limited edition of 2000. I don't know very many other series where <laughs> each one's a different size, but here's a close up of the backer card without the pin on it. So all the backer cards will look like this. This is probably one of my favorite backer card designs. I've already said it, but you know, blue is my favorite color. So there you go. All right, so there's number one. Number two in the series, I believe was Tiki Room. The top pin portion does take up a good chunk of the space. So the back, the bottom pin, kind of like background part of the pin is very minimal. And the font or like the writing on this pin is on the top pin as well. So this one says Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. Here in Fantasyland, the writing was on the bottom pin, but here you can see it says Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. We've got the tikis there, and then in the back is kind of like the building that the show is in. And then here, there are no hidden Mickeys on the corner, uh, but you can see they have like a pretty good theming to the Tiki Room. And this is the second release in the series. If I'm wrong, it was probably the third, but I'm pretty sure it was the second. The third release in the Disneyland poster series was Haunted Mansion. And this one was a very exciting one. I'm not a huge Haunted Mansion fan. However, if you know me, you know that I am about to this color palette. So I love the purple and the blues. So this one, again, with the pin on pin, we've got Haunted Mansion written on the back pin, we've got the mansion and the tombstones in the back. And then we've got the hitchhiking ghost as the top pin here. And then a quick scan at the border. We've got nice blue, no hidden Mickeys. I don't know if I would have wanted hidden Mickeys on every single pin. So I do kind of like the originality on each border there. And now here's the fourth one in the series. 
this one I had to trade. I had an extra castle and I had to trade for this Space Mountain one because I wasn't able to get one through my pickup person because it was so limited so I didn't make the cut. So this one was a successful trade. This is of Space Mountain and again with the shades of blue. I'm super in love with this one as well. Might be my next favorite in the series. And so as we can see here, Space Mountain is on the bottom pin. So it is in the back. We've got the Space Mountain building and the spaceship part of the top pin. We got stars in the background and then a close up at the border here. It's like a nice white border with stars to represent space. And I like it. I like that it's very simple, very different from the other two and no hidden Mickeys. So very, very fun. And that is it, my friends. These are the four pins so far that I have gotten a hold of. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, I have my hands on the fifth one as well. But here it is, a closer look at the four pins so far that I have for the Disneyland posters. Let me know in a comment down below which of these four is your favorite. As for me, you really can't go wrong with Sleeping Beauty's Castle and then Space Mountain is a close second for me. So I'm really excited to see what the rest of this series is gonna look like. If you enjoy this Disney pin content, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Looking forward to hearing from you guys in the comments down below. I'll see you at the next video, my friends. Until then, have a fantastic day.